Who doesn't like flowers? Unless you're allergic to them. Flowers have long and colorful history in China. They're not just an expression of love or served as holiday gifts. Thank you. They are used as sacred in big ceremonies. In recent years, it has even become an everyday luxury consumer item in China. Traditionally, if you go to a shop to buy some flowers or a bouquet, you need to deal with the design. 线下的就相当于是我们开店，大家到店里来，这样的话是顾客寻找咱们。咱们在线上的话，可以是咱们也可以是面向全国的顾客开发嘛。Even if you decide to shop online, you can only choose one design at a time, and it can be quite pricey. So for years, flowers were not an everyday consumer item, but now rising demand, especially from white-collar consumers in search of more life-enriching experiences, has led to a boom in the e-commerce flower market. The upgrade of logistics from picking. To transporting the flowers, then packaging and delivering them has helped meet the demand. E-commerce platforms provide a set price for monthly deliveries. Once you put down an order, you will receive a different bouquet under the same price range every week, anywhere from 90 to 200 kwai per month. That's about 15 to 30 US dollars. The design will change every time, and experts will make sure your choice will look pro. Figures shows that China's e-commerce market reached about 23.5 billion yuan in 2017. Most e-commerce flower platforms launched in 2015. They include Flower Plus, Reflower, and a few others. 鲜花从礼品消费啊，慢慢转变到日常消费。之前他们这现在更需要的是精神方面的一些需求，跟之前是啊，就是结婚啊、婚礼啊这些必须的。Peony is symbolic of friendship, and roses stand for love and romance. For many white-collar consumers in China, escaping nine-to-five rut and spending time out with a loved one is a luxury, and people used to hardly think about regularly buying flowers. Chinese consumption upgrades are not a fancy trend in terms of buying power. It just comes to basics, like having money to buy the flowers you weren't paying attention to before.